Gennaro, uh, good to see you today. Thanks for coming on the programs. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've been listening to it so far. Uh, the demonstrations have been going on now for more than a week. Uh, the U.S. maintains it's all because of a simple YouTube click. Your thoughts on that? Some people are saying that, well, this kind of sentiment's been brewing for years, and perhaps some people are being opportunists and taking advantage of a certain situation to really lay out their, their protests. Well, yes, it's quite tragic, and actually I'm quite concerned about it. It has been going on for weeks, but I think it has been brewing for decades. The U.S. has had kind of an ad hoc foreign policy in the Middle East for over 60 years now. They've been staunch supporters of Israel no matter what happens within the context of the Arab community in the Arab region and in the Muslim region, as we're seeing now in Pakistan and, and Afghanistan, their policy has also been kind of wayward and, and ad hoc and non-existent. So I think if anything's going to happen, they're going to have to be very engaged right now and have a lot of initiative to make some change. Well, certainly, as you allude to, when it comes to uh, Washington and Capitol Hill's uh, foreign policy, there are many that are saying that that's been sowing the seeds of this fury that we're seeing now. And as you said, it's been going on for years. Let's, let's draw attention now uh, to the caricatures of Prophet Muhammad, the cartoons published now in France. Then we have the contents of this film made in Hollywood. Uh, let's, let's talk about the issue of free speech here, because it's certainly a, a tough subject to breach here. Uh, is it correct to define these matters as free speech, do you think? Well, you know, we are all supporting free speech and we want to be able to speak our mind and be able to, you know, decide what our future is and, and advocate for what we think is best um, for our societies and our countries and our, our families and ourselves. But I mean, there's some there's some irresponsibility and I think this is part of it. This is definitely a, provoca a provocation to, you know, what's already happening. There's already been demonstrations for a week. We need to have more of this. We understand what happens in the Middle East when there's a you know, there's some kind of context where the Prophet Muhammad is, is talked about badly. And I think, you know, it's about time we all try to sit back and respect some of this, calm everyone down and talk about relationships and how we can be more respectful and more understanding about what's happening and why people are really upset. I'm sure it's not just this film. Well, well certainly, you know, you, you bring up the issue of oh, people need to calm down. A lot of people are worrying where is the situation mm. now heading? Are, are the protests are going to increase it in, in volume uh, in numbers and in regions as well. As you know, it's been going on for over a week. We've seen it on five continents. We've seen dozens of people injured, certainly killed as well. In fact, just the other day, we had Hassan Nasrallah, the spiritual leader of Hezbollah, basically making his first public appearance in six years on the streets of Beirut to tens of thousands of protesters. And he, and he was saying, we want more demonstrations and more attacks. Well, I think it's, you know, it's, again, I said I'm very concerned about this, and I am, because, I mean, initially, I think there was a power vacuum after a lot of these, you know, monarchies are being challenged, and also dictatorships have fallen in Egypt and Tunisia and the like. And you you saw a pretty extreme Salafist trying to pull, uh, trying to push and get into this, this gap um, of power loss that's been happening. But now you're seeing the Shiites are joining that as well, which is Nasrallah. And also in Pakistan, the demonstrations there were also led by a lot of Shiite sects. So this is a larger scale problem than I think we understand. And I think we need to, to really step hard on that accelerator of diplomacy and, and make a lot of statements, just like, no, we have free speech in America. Well, no, we don't want to treat people badly and we don't want to disrespect them I'm sorry to interrupt but we are, we are starting to see see a PR campaign yeah. coming out of Washington as I mentioned a few moments ago to, to advertise basically the condemnation of this YouTube video but doing it on a Pakistan mm -hmm. national television a professor Patricia De Gennaro uh, coming to us uh, from New York University's Finally. Department <laughs> of Politics thank you very much indeed for joining us on RT